Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever match of the month for Open RA. First is January 2016, and we have for you a match between Raimundo and Murto de Rey. Two very prominent players on the Open RA scene, without a doubt. We have the standard map settings if you don't know Open RA or Red, the Red Alert mod. These are pretty much um, what uh, players usually go with. We just have an MCV, a little bit of cash, we use Fog of War, crits are off, and game speed normal. You can also change that to fast or whatever. Map is sidestep. Let's get into the game. This map is pretty damn huge. It got some uh, expansions here and there, a couple of oil rigs. Get some interesting games there. More to the right, to the right, in the dark reddish color, playing as Russia, going for shock troopers and test tanks for the late game. Raimundo, playing as Ukraine, is going for the power bombs and uh, possibly a demo truck. So two Soviet players. Uh, Murto de Rey starting out with a kennel to get a couple of dogs out. And boom, to the top left, we do have the production tab mock-up for your viewing pleasure. This is not an in-game feature, this is uh, mainly for this uh, video, or this video series. It's just to show off, you know, you can see what the players are building, and maybe what they are thinking during the game. So the dog didn't really catch anything uh, special seeing that Romundo does uh, this standard build or refinery and straight for the war factory and of course the both will uh, build the engineer probably both because we have oil derricks on the map uh, one oil derrick for each player though so nothing huge just a little bit of a little bit of income all right so War Factory. Now, uh, Morto de Rey uh, here is um, a very strong player overall. He can uh, fight with the best of, best of them, and uh, might today be considered uh, yeah, one of the one of the best players for the scene. Uh, uh, Raimundo is also very very good. Thing is, he uh, has been switching up his factions uh, quite a bit. I remember him as an allied player. Uh, playing as Great Britain, but uh, for this game he is playing as Ukraine. So yes, so it's going to be interesting to see what these uh, players are going to be doing. The thing is, uh, this game has already been played on the stream. You can go check the live stream there. Uh, I'll link it that in the video description. But this game was just too damn good not to make something special out of it, and you'll see why very soon. Here's more to the race engineer, capturing the pillbox, right in front of a couple of infantry, which will try to kill it before it takes the oil direct. Let's see if that works. <laughs> it works. The engineer was supposed to um, safely get that oil direct after that pillbox, but the infantry managed to kill it off anyway. Pretty damn, uh, pretty damn good for Raimondo, which will put Morto pretty... Pretty far behind, startup. Also, the uh, kennel building dogs will also put the dent in his economy. So that's that. Now, Murto Dre is building a service depot, which means uh, on this map you want to uh, at least uh, make sure that you do not lose up just straight up to a army. Uh, this this is is very difficult to defend your base from every possible direction. You can see the map is pretty damn open. So you cannot really neglect on your army. If you do that, you might just possibly lose. Yes, that was Murto's second engineer, you saw that. Murto the Ray also places out his uh, spotters around the map pretty damn often. And it's really nice because he will notice uh, the second that uh, his opponent will be expanding. Now, Raimundo, as you can see, yeah, he building an MCV first. Very risky. It's, uh, it's very risky. If R Morto the Ray, I'm just going to call him Morto from now on. If Morto was actually just to build these heavy tanks, and uh, yeah, that's the sef second war factory, giving him a 15% discount on the production. If you build this army and just go straight for the attack, then uh, uh, Ramundo is will most likely just lose. Now Morto is ex uh, 
expecting... Uh, Murtry is expecting Ramundo to just build an army here, but he didn't see the MCV, so... He might read the situation uh, differently. War Factory up on the expansion. That's kind of risky as well. Spreading out your production facilities, you don't really need to do that, but it will actually be able to produce the War Factory units there, which is nice. <laughs> the engineer of Murto is sneaking on the bottom side of the map. Pretty sneaky, you might want to do something about that. Now, Ramundo is uh, building a radar dome now, which uh, makes me think that uh, Murto the Ray, with his playstyle, with the third War Factory now, pretty damn early, uh, will use his uh, army advantage to go for the offensive. So, uh, it's going to be interesting, interesting to see if that actually happens or not. Now, I have actually watched this uh, this game before, but I, I don't want to spoil it for you. So, I'm just going to uh, take this scene by scene as this video has been edited. Here's a loner tank from Raimundo being picked up fairly easily from, uh, from Murto the Ray. And I said I was going to call him Murto, but uh, since I can't remember it, let's just throw that right in the trash. As you can see, uh, Raimundo actually sees the army of um, Murto and should have his uh, alarms ringing. Because a concentrated army such as this, even with two Tesla coils there at the expansion, you can't really protect it with, uh, with a significant amount of infantry around it. Murto taking his expansion as well, but uh, notice he did that just after getting his army out. So he's going to be needing to to uh, punish Raimundo for his expansions. But Raimundo hasn't really built a refinery yet on this expansion, so it remains to be seen what Raimundo actually wants to do here. Not really utilizing his expansion at the moment. Murder the Ray just built his uh, refinery there right away. So funny enough, even though Raimundo built his uh, MCV way earlier, a couple of minutes before Murto the Ray. He still didn't build his refinery there. As you can see, Murto the Ray did it right, right away. Uh, Raimundo taking up the spotter for uh, Murto, which will deny Murto the Ray any knowledge about an expansions for the time being. Murto the Ray is coming in with another APC, so he's going to know regardless, I think. Eventually, <laughs> killing, <laughs> taking revenge on that infantry, killing it off. Now, now that neither player really has uh, a lot of knowledge about what the other is doing. Uh, the only thing is that uh, Murto actually knows a little bit more on what uh, Raimondo is doing. I'm kind of curious, I see on the minimap that uh, uh, either player cannot see the structures of the other. I can see Murko. He, I know that he has been inside the base of of Ramundo, but you don't see his structures. That's actually a bug that is supposed to be um, available through the minimap. Here's, engi here's the engineer of Murko, kind of waiting around to see if he can get some opportunity to uh, to do some damage with it. You can capture the uh, structures with the engineer unnoticed because you don't get a warning when engineers are trying to capture your structures. <laughs> Murto just keeps building his army. And here is, here's the top expansions for uh, Raimundo. It's, this is six, second expansions is pretty damn quick. And it's been spotted right away by Murto, who's going to immediately move his army north uh, with, uh, with well, almost everything that he has. And uh, it looks like Ramundo, well, he's not really preparing for it. He knows that he was spotted. Still, he's just going to... Just going to just let it stay there. Maybe just saying like, oh well, if it gets if it gets killed, I still got the second expansions, but... Here comes the army of Merkel, though, just quickly getting north. Meanwhile, Ramundo is uh, taking up. Tesla Goal going down in seconds. Now, Tesla Coils are not very good by themselves. They are a kind of support structure <laughs> together with a defensive defensive force. But he, he will... Raimundo will get away with his uh, MCV though, which is good for him. <laughs> Just repositioning right outside the army for the time being. Here comes a Yak. Now Yaks can do terrific Yak crashes if they come in at the right angle. And it's going to be... Uh, uh, 
Not too good. The V2 shots might be better. Yeah. Also thinking about the V2 shots are actually free. So that was pretty good. But yeah, uh, Raimundo is going to have to deal with this army now. Now that Raimundo is actually <laughs> expanding uh, up towards uh, Raimundo's uh, attempt at expansion. So this is, this is getting kind of funky. You can see kind of an overview of the south side. Now Raimundo is actually splitting up his... Uh, his forces now that he knows that he does have a third expansion and Ramon who does not he uh, looks to be trying to kind of kind of contain Ramon Ramon the building iron curtain we saw there uh, <laughs> the, the damaged MCV from before just built a ore refinery out in the middle of nowhere I think Ramon is kind of I mean I do, he does have a couple, he does have quite a bit of ore left on his uh, second expansion so that was kind of unnecessary that's that loner heavy tank does not really belong to this world shouldn't really be sending out those uh, units by themselves Mort Mortadere is actually building flag trucks now uh, recognizing that Ramundo is uh, kind of light on the main army and he probably is building Yax which uh, he certainly have also Ramundo is building V2s so you can see here like lots of heavy tanks for Ramundo it's 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 kind of it's it's a kind of a threat um, did I say Ramundo? I meant Murto. <laughs> and uh, so Ramundo is effic uh, efficiently contained here. Uh, I don't see what he can do. This is a first airfield for Murto the Ray. He's going to be even scouting now. You can see the late tech by um, by Murto the Ray as compared to Ramundo. It's very late, but Murto the Ray has has the advantage here. But this. Uh, Paradrop might do something about that. If this Paradrop hits right in the middle of those uh, infantry, they're going to die each and every one of them. But he moves away, and the bomb's going to hit the heavy tanks instead, taking actually a lot of hit points um, off those heavy tanks. And it looks like he's going to move into that uh, northern expansion with his own force now, which is pretty nice. Let's see, V2 shot is missing. And this isn't done doing anything. He's moving in with everything he has. But the iron, the iron curtain is coming in here. It's going to move in and take take all the shots on those three iron curtain units, which will enable the rest of his force to just ram through everything and do the damage. Wow, that was a that was a quick kill off. But those uh, para bombs was the reason for uh, for that successful attack and a demolition truck. Thirteen minutes into the game, you see a demolition truck. That's 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 pretty rough. Um, now. Uh, Raimundo already did a successful attack, but it's still, it's still a matter of that southern uh, force by Murto the Ray is is unaware about this neutral coming in. If he can come in close enough, he can in he can also kill the infantry, but also maybe the tanks. Oh, okay, here it comes. Murto the Ray is moving away. <laughs> Kills a lot of the. You can see, even see the infantry far off had to like duck down and take damage. It's pretty insane. Here's a follow up attack by Raimundo, by the way. <laughs> Uh, recognizing that uh, Murto the Ray has actually lost a lot of his force by the nuke truck, by the power drop, and the uh, the attack on the north. Suddenly, Ramundo is the one with the with the units, and he's just not waiting for it. He's just going straight in, trying to kill off uh, Murto the Ray right now. Uh, Murto the Ray though, does have some units left, and a huge yak crash going to kill off uh, a lot of infantry for uh, <laughs> for. Uh, Raimundo, unfortunately for him, which actually gives uh, Murto the Ray the lead here, and holy crap, these great V2 shots will actually will actually stop Raimundo's attack in like 30 seconds. This attack was completely thwarted, and that that is that is because of Murto the Ray's positional positional play here. He did not waste. Any V2 shots there, just kill off the infantry and the tanks of Ramundo are pretty much gone. Ramundo is actually building more airfields, which he's transitioning into heavy yak play here. Which is uh, which is which is can be very, very risky. Like yaks do not do well against heavy tanks. But they might do, do well against what Murto the Ray is doing now, which is he's building Tesla coil, he's building Tesla tanks, he's building shock troopers with his uh, with his faction. He can do that in the late game. Together with the tech center and uh, the Tesla coil, he can go into those uh, tier units. Yaks will do very well against uh, Tesla units like this, so it's uh, it's a 
It's a gamble from uh, Murto the Ray at this point. <laughs> this group of infantry here is looking to do something, but they have been spotted. Pretty damn intense game, a lot of things happening. I can't really follow up on everything. Now, Tesla tanks has been buffed uh, because uh, they have been pretty useless from before. Now they can just uh, like drive by Tesla. Oh, okay, another attack by, by Ramundo is... <laughs> Murto is building fences, which will do nothing. It will stop infantry, but not tanks. And uh, this Iron Curtain heavy tanks is losing the Iron Curtain and will just lose to Tesla tanks, Tesla coils and shock troopers. Even the Yaks are not really targeting the units. They are kind of trying to take down the power, which will take down the Tesla coil, but the Tesla coil is just one unit here. One element, and all the Tesla units of Murto Dre just destroys the force of Ramondo, making him to <laughs> move back with the rest of his units. And now... Well, now Murto Dre is moving out. Still, uh, Ramondo retained his uh, Yak count, so that's, that's also a risk. But at the same time, uh, Raimondo is kind of getting low on ore. His, uh, origin, his base is empty of ore. His uh, second ore patch and second expansion is pretty much empty. But a yak crash here could do a lot of... But he's just losing a lot of yaks! He's not really crashing into these, uh, these units. Going for the tech center of Murto the Ray. That will stop tech production. Ah, can't get, quite get it. But it's being sold anyway, so... Uh, no more tech units for uh, Murto Dre at this moment. Uh, <laughs> that was a lot of shock troopers. That was a that was pretty crazy. That was <laughs> because of that, Raimundo can actually keep controlling the map with his uh, with his. Um, well, I guess not because they don't really have any axiom anymore. <laughs> In fact, uh, it's Murto the Ray having three acts, and uh, one of them is actually scouting the main base now. And uh, the original engineer of Murto the Ray is actually capturing the Iron Curtain. <laughs> it could actually take it, but no, uh, Ramundo does see it. And uh, being observant, you could just sell off one of your reliefs, you get some free units, killing off the engineer in a split second. Murto the Ray has a good idea about, uh, about Ramundo's base, that's for sure. Nice yak crash into the V2. And uh, it looks like Murphy the Ray is actually the one taking the map control with the AX. His bases are pretty safe. There's another paragraph going to the main base, focusing down the Tesla coil. It's not going to do much, there's no more units there. What you want to do with paragraphs is mainly just try to find out where your units are. There could be a lot of units there, uh, as far as uh, Ramundo is thinking. But unfortunately for him, there was none. Because paradrops will destroy. <laughs> units so fast it's not even funny there's some iron curtain there's a there's a nuke truck following the iron curtain heavy tanks trying to do some distractions but they fire for the force fire from the tesla coil which actually stop and it actually saves all this infantry it saves all this infantry from motor there if that if that nuke truck were to come in like five six cells further into the motor base then this follow-up uh, attack from ramondo will actually possibly be the game ender. But the quick reaction from Murto the Ray, which actually stopping that new truck right outside the base, unfortunately for him. So these units will do less damage. Still takes out a couple of uh, Dansk power plants, but will be taken out. And uh, Raimundo will still, still be safe with his uh, double expansion up to the north. Both of them uh, not recognized by uh, Raimundo for the time being. And you can see also Murtra has that spotter on the south side. Not that then he, he, you know, he knows that he is ahead with the expansions, so he don't really know. He, he don't. He don't really have to be on the aggressive, uh, which I question because he normally is pretty damn aggressive with his units. He doesn't. He doesn't really stay around. And this cross formation of these tanks actually tells me one thing: Iron Curtain, because it's ready on the top in the production tab, and boom, and it moves in. Um. Going for ore trucks, possibly, but no, his V2 is going in for a tech structure, that's for sure. And Ramona doesn't really have a... Uh, it, his, his Iron Curtain is red, so I can't, he can't protect anything. We'll take the tech center. And the Iron Curtain is out from our today, so he will actually lose all his units there. Ah, oh, everything is happening so fast. Uh, but the... Uh, okay, so this Yak is going to pick up the last test tank here. 
Um, that trade-off for Murto the Ray, he took down the tech center and a couple of other units on the way, but not really worth it. Tesla tanks are pretty damn expensive. They cost 1,350 credits. And uh, they're pretty vulnerable, so you can't really lose them like that. You are sacrificing a lot of production time with them. But still, um, Raimundo has uh, the production cap capabilities. And he spots um, Raimundo's attempt to do the southern expansion with a lone NCV. A couple of V2 shots out in the dark because he might hit the infantry. Ah, this, v this MCV is just going to pop out and die. It's pretty horrible. Test tanks do major damage. Uh, you just have to keep them alive. Here's the MCV from Raimundo. He's probably going to take the southern expansion now. Oh, if this. If this yak can go in, it will be major. <laughs> That's a lot of... I mean, make, realize how many... How much value that was actually taking down. Like, the, the yak actually cost 1350. That took down, like, at least 2000 credits worth of units. And uh, Tesla Tesla units are um, are pretty slow to build. So that was a pretty damn good yak crash. Now, Murder the Ray is taking that sound. So Murder the Ray has three expansions now. Versus Raimondo, which only has his southern expansion, which now is empty of ore, so he's getting quite desperate at this time being. Uh, he has redeployed his uh, expansion MCV, which tells me he's going to try to retake this expansion to the to the southeast. Ah, uh, but he meets Iron Curtain test tanks and will he definitely will lose his V2s. Oh, another <laughs> Iron Curtain by Raimondo. He's just going to move on with his MCV. But he doesn't realize, well now he realized that Murder of the Ray took this uh, expansion from him as well. And, um, uh, ooh, oh, and two versus one Tesla coil. Yeah, and a lot of units for Murder of the Ray. Yeah, unfortunately, Raimondo is not going to take this uh, expansion at all. Yeah, Murder of the Ray is, uh, is kind of... He's kind of just holding the grip here with his units, and uh, as I said, he hasn't really been uh, been attacking uh, any of the uh, bases of Raimundo. Maybe with the exception of this northern uh, force here, as you can see. And uh, there's very little to stop it, should he uh, decide to attack right now. The forces of Raimundo are to the south, so that's not going to... <laughs> that's not going to help him when this attack commences to the north. It's pretty intense, actually. Now let's see. Oh, power drop to the back of the expansion of Ramondo. There's no, there's not much value there left, but it might still take down a uh, ore truck or maybe a next, maybe a building. So why not? Uh, look at this. See, Ramondo, uh, uh, Murtudere doesn't really know much about uh, what Ramondo is doing, but he knows that he doesn't really have a viable expansion. Uh, Ramondo is going to attack the expansion of Murto. At the same time, with a pirate up right on top of uh, Murtor's uh, main army there, so that if they don't move, everything. <laughs> this tank, tank, building infantry. Ah, oh, that's pretty sick. But let's not forget those. This attack from the north is coming in, and uh, and uh, this flame tower is the only one. To look, but look at this, the iron curtain. It's going to stop the entire blob of infantry. Murder is going to have to move back with this attack because this flame tower will actually destroy everything. <laughs> it's going to smelt all the units. Now, um, now Murder Ray will be able to stop this attack uh, on his uh, southern expansion. Gosh. Uh, listen, guys, I I'm not going to pretend th th this is just. I have seen this before. This was on part of the live stream, but it still just amazes me all the. All the intense action happening at the same time. Uh, so, uh, but more about that later. Uh, we still have that group of Tesla units on the north, which uh, still do damage. Um, not too good against a pure infantry army, though, because Tesla troopers—they're still just humans. They will die to—they uh, will die to bullets. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, overall, uh, Ramondo looks uh, very, very. Uh, very silent, uh, if I can put it like that. Uh, Mercury still has map control, it still has expansion, so it's still up to Ramundo to do something uh, very special here. But it looks like Mercury 
good grasp on this match. Taking out the oil directly. <laughs> Raimundo pulling a power drop into the base of Raimundo, but that shouldn't do anything. Can test like just greeting it. Two slot two, two slot tanks. <laughs> and um Yeah. Raimundo. Raimundo he, he can't really he can't really contest the, the uh, tier units now. He doesn't have Yaks to stop the Tesla units. He doesn't really have an army, he kind of just is kind of contained by all sides. As you can see, that uh, a murdered ray has has the axe just hovering over like three spots on the map in the in the south, in the middle, and on the top. So he's going to see every move that Ramondo does against him at this moment. <laughs> it's, it's pretty rough. Uh, here comes another. Uh, let's see, this is going to be. Yeah, he has the Iron Curtain ready, so it's going to be another drive-by. As you can see, you can move all your units in the cross, and then... Shwing! It's going to be another drive-by. What's he going to pick up now? Is uh, This could actually take this Tesla coil in one hit. Takes out a ore truck, and another ore truck, and uh, then possibly a third? He could do it, but no, it's just going to go away. Not, not going to lose uh, his units this time. It's just going to go north, and uh, yeah, it's just going to regroup his units, and uh, yeah, just stay, out, stay outside Raimundo's base. Raimundo doesn't really have uh, much of an income. As you can see, the bases, if, even if they are um, uh, empty of ore, you can still mine from them. There are ore, there are ore mines, which will constantly produce ore uh, throughout the game. Of course, not as much as having a full uh, ore patch, but but uh, but useful in longer games. Of course, and four expansions. I mean, four bases will beat two bases. And now Raimundo has actually just one base, as the southern base finally got taken out by that small group of fire drop coming in early. Nice scout here by the Jakob uh, Murta here, seeing that there aren't really that much left on uh, on the front of Raimundo, so he's just going to yeah he's going to move in these Teslas and just uh, keep. Tesla Tesla still don't have all these uh, armor to brag about, but they have a nice view range, they have a nice fire range, and they're pretty damn impressive. Look at this heavy tank. Zoop. Dead. Now you might think there these are OP units, but it's not like uh, you can get these kind of test tanks quickly and easily. <laughs> Murder the Ray saying test tanks are are good. <laughs> They can even kill dogs, apparently. And uh, oh, the missile silo has been built for murder. That's that's just a the final nail in the coffin, if it wasn't already. And Ramundo saying he missed his curtain, meaning that he's um, he missed his uh, his mouse click when he tried to curtain something, probably for protection. Instead, Murder Drake coming in with his own iron curtain, and uh, and Ramundo surrenders. Well played, good game. It's. Uh, it definitely was. The thing is about this game is not just about the engagements, which was pretty awesome to watch, but also that the both players kind of used their faction to their full potential and uh, had actually a 30-minute long game. Jesus Christ, that's not uh, that's not necessarily the norm here. So intense, says Ramundo. Yeah, pretty uh, damn good. I hope your viewers really enjoyed this match. This was uh, this was. Um, the intense to cast, to be honest. But I hope you I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope you take the time to try out OpenRA if you haven't already. And uh, if you do enjoy this kind of videos, you can go to the video description. You will find a couple of links there to various casters, uh, streams, stuff like that. And uh, with that said, I am so scared, and thank you for watching.